Okay, so it is now Friday and I am annoyed because everything that goes wrong with money does. So I got a lens fixed for this camera, which is the Sony, Sony mirror something or other camera. And my lens doesn't fit, so I had to put this lens on. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad, but here's our bedroom. Our bed's gone. So I think the last I recorded was Wednesday when we were getting ready for our pictures, which came out awesome. And now Devon's taking apart Jordan's room. And Ryder's whining, so I'm gonna go take, uh, change his diaper right now. I got interrupted there because River, um, on the weekends, well, today I had off. So on any day I have off in the weekends, I try to put underwear on River to, um, you know, help her because sometimes she does ask to go to the bathroom with a diaper on. I wouldn't call it potty training because I'm not, pot I'm not really a potty trainer. I just hope that, you know, they don't get to high school needing diapers. So I put underwear on her and she had an accident. So I just gave her and Milo, I mean her and Ryder, a bath real quick. So now, what was I talking about? Um, oh, just that Devon's breaking down. The furniture, I just came back from Walmart and got moving boxes. And then, surprise, surprise, we had pictures taken yesterday, which um, I don't know if I can upload the pictures to uh, YouTube, but uh, maybe I'll do a couple of them, or maybe I'll just put it on Instagram, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen them pictures. But, um, they were amazing. I wanted to buy my house all over again. They were really, really nice. Um, and so, um, then we noticed, we hear, Brooklyn comes and says, Mommy, Mommy, somebody's knocking at the door. I'm like, we don't have, I don't usually have people stop by. So, um, they came and they put up our for sale sign over there. I don't even know if I could zoom in because my this lens is not my favorite lens. And I don't even know if I could zoom in. Let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, here we go. Well, that zoom did absolutely nothing. But it's a for sale sign on our yard, which means that we're really moving to Alabama. Well, it, it meant that whenever Devon signed the contract for his new job. But I don't know. I'm starting to get butterflies and stuff in my stomach and I'm excited and I am excited to see what God has for us. And so, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys that across the street, if you could see that truck over there, see again, this is where my more expensive line comes into place that just broke. Um, that budget truck over there across the street actually has our Nissan hitched to the back of it and um, Devon wants to unhitch it so that we can, oh, let me get zoomed out here. How do you get zoomed out? Okay, there we go. He wants to unhitch it and bring the budget truck over in the driveway so we can start loading up the vehicle because he leaves tomorrow around three. So we're trying to do what we need to do. Um, what's up, Brooklyn? So now I'm just sitting down feeding Ryder. I'm supposed, I gotta go across the street and help Devon unhitch the Nissan from the back of the budget vehicle, but Ryder is screaming and um, Jordan is usually the person who can calm him down. He's not here and I don't like the, he, Jordan went to his dad's house this weekend and I, I don't like the other kids to feel frustrated with Ryder because Ryder's not their responsibility. He's um, our responsibility. So I try to get him when he's screaming. And that's exactly what he was doing just now, screaming. Um, Brooklyn, I need you to sit down at the table. Okay? Um, and so Devon's going across the street to loosen chains and do all the things that he needs to do outside. And then I'm going to go out there and help him unhitch the Nissan, whatever that means. And so um, the kids, they had like, I don't know, Fridays. I don't know, Devon got a whole box of stuff from his job of like, I guess they were giving away all the cafeteria food since nobody's been in the office. So he got, all, they're, actually they don't have cafeteria, they have a vending machine. So they gave him like a bunch of stuff from the vending machine. It's gotta be like over $100 worth of vending machine stuff. Um, like Red Bulls, that's what I'm drinking right now. I don't even drink Red Bulls. Well, I do drink Red Bulls, but I don't ever pay the $3 for the Red Bulls, so yeah. Tastes like soda to me. But anyways. <sighs> that's why I'm drinking that Red Bull. But oh, it just feels so real with this uh, for sale sign on the front yard. So, um, just feeding Ryder and 
Um, Devon is really like doing a great job in getting the house broken down. Um, so hopefully we get most of our stuff on here. I plan to have a few item kids clothing since we're in quarantine anyway, not going anywhere. Um, they have all their clothes to play outside in. That's what I'm planning to do is keep all their clothes they're playing outside in because I'll probably toss most of them whenever we make the drive down to Alabama. And then I'll keep like two pairs of jeans, price of shorts um, for them that is decent clothing. And the same for myself. I'm mostly in athletic clothing anyway. So, well, the, in the last few months, not normally, but in the last few months I have been. So I'll probably keep those things out and um, or maybe a pair of jeans or two and maybe a short pair of shorts or so. Um, I just remembered I have to run today. I know I have not missed a day running since January 1st and I'm not about to start today. So I need to go run. Um, I have no idea when I'm going to fit that in. Maybe right after I finish helping Devon unhitch the Nissan, I'll go run. But that's besides the point. And we're just ready to get this house done. I, I feel happy because like God has ca caused me to be patient or allowed me to be patient or because of Jesus I am patient. So that's been really good. I haven't felt super anxious. I'm excited and I think it's okay to be excited. So I'm really excited but I'm not like trying to like fiddle over every single detail. Um, you know Devon signed the contract a week ago Tuesday or no two weeks ago Tuesday and I think let me see yeah two weeks ago Tuesday and so he starts on this Tuesday the 26th and when he signed the contract two weeks ago that's when we got the realtor in we had a week to get the house ready we did we got the pictures yesterday today we're loading up a huge a 26 foot budget truck with every possible last thing that I can think to get on there all the things that were not thrown away and um, he's gonna drive it all down to Alabama tomorrow and he's gonna drive two days Saturday and Sunday and he's taking our second car with him and then I'll have the bus with me and there's another story about the bus oh my goodness but I guess that's for another time but um, so I'm just excited. I'm excited about this adventure. Um, I don't know if Alabama's the forever state, but it's gonna be the finale state. So I'm excited to go on this journey with Devon. So we'll see what happens. Let me tell you about Devon. He just backed this thing, or no, he drove it in. But like he had to back it up and on, cause he's taking our Nissan, so he had to undo that. Like, look, I'm not driving that. That's 26 feet. Don't want a part of it, any part of it. Now he's about to load it up. He's getting some stuff in there right now. Like, mind you, we have no idea where we're moving to. He's taking this stuff to a storage unit. So we have like the transit there. Now let me tell you guys about the transit. We took the check engine light is on the transit. Listen, the check engine light has been on the transit since we bought it. Basically, we overpaid for the transit. And it wasn't worth what we bought it for. And now it needs like five thousand plus dollars worth of work. And I'm not fixing it. So we're going to drive it until it doesn't drive anymore and then we're going to get a rental car to drive our family to Alabama because this is not it. Um, yeah, so we when we took it to the mechanic the other day, um, this past week to, to get it ready to drive to Alabama, they're like, oh, you have an engine problem and that'll be like $5,000 plus. Dollars. Nope, not doing it. Not having it. So. I think basically like I said we overpaid for it um, and that's fine you know you live one you live and you learn once and I'm definitely won't do that again so we're going to just do something with this haven't figured it out yet but God has got it I trust him um, and I'm not gonna worry about it today because today we have to get stuff in that budget vehicle for budget truck to move to Alabama so this vehicle will stay here with me if it does blow up I can buy a car that fits all everybody's butts like a like a sienna or a um an odyssey and fits everybody's butts until we can get something like this where there's space so for right now this is this little broken down 12 passenger transit is what we're going to drive until it doesn't drive anymore and then at the point where it doesn't drive anymore that's when i'll think about something else and devon's taking the nissan on the he's taking it to alabama so he can have transportation to get to and from work um, so 
that's the plan for now i feel first i did feel stressed when we first found out when they called us first i was like fix it then um you know i love dave ramsey so i get on his website to do to find out what the equation is to find out when you should fix your vehicle once you, you should sell it and it says basically the car is worth this much as is if we fix it it's worth one thousand dollars more well they want five thousand dollars worth of work so not doing it so okay, yeah so it is saturday and we it is we got up at around seven it's 11 23 we've got a few hours till two o'clock so the milo and brooklyn's room it's broken down. Mind you, we still have no idea when we can join Devon in Alabama. But we just still have to break down Winter and River's bed. And I'm feeling like this will go fast. Devon's trying to start driving out to Alabama by 2 o'clock and do about 415 miles today. And then 415 miles tomorrow. So, um, I got these bins here. I'm getting closets cleared out with a few, just with just a few items. There's got like underwear and toys and a few select items that they get to keep here. And then everything else has got to go. We got a 26 foot truck and Devon thought it was too big, but I think it's perfect. Ryder. Come on, Ryder. He's trying to crawl down the stairs. You see him over there. Um, but I think we're making good progress. We just have the basement to do, a table on the main floor to break down, and then a, bo a bunch of boxes in the basement. And Devon will be really set to start. Um, he'll have to drive down there, and then tomorrow he, some friends will help him unload into the storage unit. And um, maybe, hopefully, they'll have a dolly or something that he can use if he doesn't have enough people. And then I will continue to touch up paint, the things that were behind the kids' beds or behind the walls and things that uh, that we didn't see when we were touching paint up and I'll be, you know, caulking things and filling things and painting over things. Devon's going to show me all the paint and what paint is for what so I don't have to figure all that stuff out and, and you know, just do all the things that we need to do to, you know, get this sold. The for sale sign outside really makes it feel real. I think I said that yesterday, but it definitely does make it feel super real. My mom is here today. She came with um, my sister. And they're downstairs watching TV with the kids. They're trying to help with Ryder, but he's being super crazy today. He just wants to be with me or dad and nobody else but me and dad are the ones who need to do the lifting. My mom has frozen shoulder. It's a thing. Google it up. Um, and so she can't help lift anything. And Jemiah, she's dancing for TikTok, I think. So... <laughs> So, well, she's, she's helping with the little kids, too, so. Well, we're just going to keep moving along here. So it's almost 4 o'clock. And, come on, Ryder, come on. Come on. Okay. He's crying because I left him, but Devon is packed up and fixing out the easy pass now for the vehicle. Our friend Mike came over and um, got the truck going and Devon's trying to get the easy pass information in for this vehicle so he's about to make his way almost about an hour past the schedule that we tried to have so so my mom and sister were here they kind of helped with Ryder and stuff so now it's just up to me to pack up the rest of the house plus wait for the offer that we know is coming in soon we know it's coming in soon so here we go the next chapter of our lives babe Yes. Alabama. We live in Bama now. No time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're moving to Alabama. <laughs> 